So a lot of people get confused about what are the various things that they should learn in order to get selected by the top companies. So I decided to make a placement preparation checklist in which I'm going to tell you the things that you need to learn in order to get selected by the top companies and how you can learn those things. And everything that I say will be in a priority order. So whatever I say first will have the topmost priority. And as I go forward, the priority will decrease. So let's start with priority number one, which is the utmost priority, the topmost priority, and that is DSA and problem solving. So it should come as no surprise to you that data structure and problem solving is the topmost priority and the number one thing that you should learn in order to get selected by the top companies. Whether it's Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, whatever company it is, you do need to have a good hold over DSA and problem solving in order to get selected. So I'm not going to go into details about how to learn DSA because I've made several videos on this topic. I've recently made a video about how to learn DSA. I'll give a link in the description. It will also appear on the corner card. You can check it out. But in short, you need to learn the theory, you need to learn the implementation, and then you need to solve a lot of problems. On every data structure and every algorithm, you need to solve a lot of problems. And the only two websites that you need for solving problems are LeetCode and geeks for geeks So solve a lot of problems, solve enough problems that you're confident, and that will be enough for your DSA preparation. But this is the topmost priority. You should give it your most amount of time, and this is the thing that you should put most of your efforts in. And then you have priority number two, which is having good projects in your resume or having some good software development skills. So having a good project in your resume can really help set you apart from rest of the candidates. And if you have some good software development skills, then that also impresses your interviewer. So there's a lot of things you can learn, but I highly suggest learning full stack development because almost every company has a need for full stack development and it is something that is very much in demand. So if you have a good project of full stack development in your resume, then that will be a great thing. And let me tell you about where to learn full stack development. There's a great website called Cryo and Cryo has one of the best courses on full stack development. You can learn full stack from there. They also have a free trial. So you can check out their free trial, see their website, what all they do, what all they'll teach you. And they'll make you into a perfect full stack developer. They'll give you real time projects to work on that you can put in your resume and that will set you apart from rest of the candidates. You can check Cryo out from the link in my description and you'll also get some free rewards like a free guide on how to crack product based companies and a free guide on how to make the perfect resume. And like I said, you have a free trial where you can check their course out, see if you like it and then you can take it from there. It's a great course and it will make you into a full stack developer and give you some great real life projects. But in case if you don't want to go into full stack development, in case you want to go into Android development, machine learning, data analytics, data science, whatever it is, that's okay. But whatever you learn, make sure to have a good project. And there's a couple of things that that project should have. Number one, it should be solving a real life problem. Okay. So it really makes an impact on the interviewer when you make a project that has a real life solution, you know, that solves a real life problem. I've talked with a lot of interviewers and the number one thing that they say that impresses them is a project that's solving some actual real life problem. So make sure that you have some project like that, whatever you learn, whether it's data analytics, data science, Android development, have a good project in your resume. The next thing in our priority list is CS core subjects or CS fundamentals. So you have your operating system, you have your computer networks, you have your DBMS, you have your object oriented programming. So these are the four most important subjects that are asked a lot in technical interviews. So in technical interviews, the interviewer might ask you about certain concepts from operating system. They might ask you explain threading or they might ex ask you explain caching or things like that. So you need, you do need to have a good hold over these subjects. So you might ask where to learn them. So geeks for geeks has good resources on all of these subjects. So the main important resource from geeks for geeks is last minute notes. So geeks for geeks has last minute notes on all of these operating systems, CN, community networks, DBMS and OP. So you can learn from there and they also have articles on all of these subjects. Apart from that, you do need to solve top interview questions on all of these. So for operating system, just go on Google and search top 100 operating system interview questions. Solve all of them, likewise for computer network, likewise for DMEMS and likewise for object oriented programming. So the top 50 or top 100 interview questions will cover almost all the topics that are generally asked in the interview. And DBMS also has SQL that a lot of companies ask. So if you want to learn SQL, then the best way to learn SQL is using w3schools.com. So w3schools.com is hands down one of the best websites for learning SQL. Okay. So if you want to learn SQL, go to w3schools.com. And if you want to learn these four CS fundamental subjects, then go on Geeks for Geeks. That should be 
more than enough and try to make notes while learning all of this so, so that you can refer to these notes when you are uh, revising for the interview. Next up on our priority list, we have aptitude. So aptitude is one of the lower priorities, but still a lot of companies have an aptitude round before they have any other round. So you do need to have good knowledge of aptitude. You have your logical reasoning, your quantitative aptitude and your verbal aptitude. So you do need to have good knowledge of all of these three subjects, but these are not too hard or too difficult. You just need to solve a lot of problems. So try to give it one or two hours daily during your preparation and you just need to solve problems and learn the formulas or learn the concepts. And the only website you need for aptitude is indiabix.com. Okay, so indiabix.com, again, I'll give a link in the description, is a great website. Just go on that and just solve a lot of problems. Give it one hour, two hour daily. And that will be more than enough for your aptitude preparation. Just learn the formulas, just learn the concepts and just solve problems. That's enough for aptitude. But like I said, it is a lower priority, but a lot of companies have an initial screening round which is based purely on aptitude. Next up, we have system design. So system design I've kept as a lower priority because generally in entry level interviews, they're not asked, but still a lot of companies have like dedicated rounds on system design. But like I said, it's rare in entry level interviews, but anyways, you should have knowledge of it. If you should learn it, if you have the time. So system design is basically like how well you have designed your system, you know, how well you can scale your system and things like that. And again, the only resource you need of system design in Go is Gaurav Sen. So Gaurav Sen has a full complete playlist on system design. You can check his playlist out. It has everything that you need to know about your system design. And you can also refer to some system design mock interviews on YouTube. And that will give you some basic idea of system design. And that should be more than enough. Like I said, it's not a high priority for entry level. But if you are switching jobs, then it becomes of a high importance. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm sweating like crazy because I had to turn the fan off because it gets in the way of recording with the audio. But anyways, we're down to the bottom of our list. And the last thing I have on my list is learning about HR things or learning about being a culture fit. So a lot of times people get rejected in the HR round and that sucks a lot, right? I felt it like uh, by myself because a lot of times I went to the last round of my dream company and I got rejected in the HR round. So you do need to learn some basic HR stuff, like you do need to cover some basic HR questions, some generic HR question or leadership principles, or uh, like if you have a group discussion, then those kind of things, you know, these kind of things also hold a lot of importance. So make sure that you have some or uh, some of these qualities like, you know, HR principles and HR questions, like make sure that you spend some time on this as well so that you don't end up getting in rejected in the round that does not even test your technical skills. Okay. And I've also made a video about how to crack the HR round just recently. So you can check that video out as well. It'll appear on the corner card or you can click on it from the description, like uh, just to make sure that you don't get rejected in the HR round. And the last thing I have a bonus thing for you. So that is getting a special achievement. Okay. So if you have a special achievement, like you've won a hackathon, you went to the ICPC, or you have a really high rating on a competitive programming platform, then that also does the job of impressing the interviewer. You can talk to that about, you can talk about that to the interviewer and you can highlight that on your resume and that will increase the chance of getting selected. So that's it guys for the list. I was planning to make this into a five to seven minute video, but I don't know how this got, it got this long. But anyways, follow this to the T and I'll, and trust me, you'll get selected by whatever company you dream of. Okay, just make sure that you do a little bit of digging to see what the company focuses on and then focus more on that. Some company focuses on particular, particular topics a lot more. So learn the interview experience of the company before. That is also one thing that I always give advice on. Learn the interview experience of the company that you're going for. Apart from, apart from that, these are the general apart from that, these are the general things that you should learn in order to get selected by the top companies. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.